Hey guys, this is Tao Tolyong and in this video, you will see 10 plays that can secure you an advantage in Dota 2. Turning on Bulwark redirects 70% of the incoming projectiles to Mars within 800 range of where Mars is facing and this works in the fog of war. If you're defending a tower against ranged heroes or creeps, you can hide in the fog to avoid spells and defend it by turning on Bulwark. When you are team fighting against ranged heroes and you are out of spells, you can hide in the fog of war to avoid spells and still reduce the total damage output of your ranged enemies. You can tell where your enemy is TPing by looking at the direction they are facing during the TP. This can help you set up an instant gank on the TP location if you are unable to cancel the TP. When you're farming through the neutral camps, take note of the timings. If the timer is very close to the minute mark, pull the camps out of the spawn. Don't kill the creeps. Wait for the new camp to spawn, then you kill the creeps. This way, the creep will spawn as a stack, and you will get bonus gold if any of your teammates kill the camp, while you move on to other lanes or camps to gain gold. This is a very dangerous trick and you only want to do this when you are completely sure that none of your enemies are in the Roshan pit. If you have a gem in a courier, you can fly it into the pit, drop the gem and scout possible Roshan spawn. Too bad it doesn't work for wards. If you're playing with a red on your team, you can get Boots of Travel 2 and execute an instant save to build out your red. Channel Dark Rift to a safe position. Wait for 1 second and TP to your ally. The delay time is based on the level of your Dark Rift, so a max level Dark Rift, you can wait for about 1 second or less. This save is almost impossible to stop, so the red can play as crazy as they want. You can catch your enemy off guard by spearing them through these three crystals on the radiant side of the map. The other two crystals sadly don't work. On the radiant side of the river, you can stuck your enemy on these three spots. You can transfer gold to your teammates with sentry and observer wards, but you have to do it in a specific order. Get your teammates to drop sentries, purchase the observer ward, then sell it. If you purchase the observer ward then pick up the sentry, this will not work. You will get back half of the sentry gold. I do not recommend you spamming this to drain all your support's money, but if you need a few bucks to complete an item, you can ask for some sentries from your core or support.
Eel Scepter can be seen as a counter to Spirit Breaker to stop the charge, and because Eels ignore status resistance, Spirit Breaker's Bulldoze is rendered useless. But if you have a Force Staff to counter other heroes, you can use it to outplay a Spirit Breaker as well. Force Staff can cancel charge, and since Spirit Breaker will always be facing you during charge, you can use this opportunity to get him out of position. When you know that you're getting charged by a Space Cow, stick close to the trees, forks, or cliffs, then force him when he arrives. The Spirit Breaker will always be forced out of position and likely lose vision to cast his ultimate. Dora 2 uses pseudo random distribution for most of the luck based abilities. For example, Faceless Void Time Lock. This means that if you bash on your first hit, it is more unlikely for you to bash on the second hit, and if you didn't bash for a long time, the chances of you getting a bash is higher. So, how can we abuse this? When you hit a bash, the chances of you getting another bash is lower, so you want to do a fast 1-2 to two animation cancel. Void has a 24% chance to bash, which is like 1 bash in 4 hits. Void's bash applies another hit during the bash, and cancelling 1-2 to two animation will severely increase the chance to bash on the next hit because of the 1 in 4 chances. In team fights or pick off situation, where you need the target to die really quick, you don't want to do this, but in cases where you need these procs to work, it is pretty reliable. Tiny's tree will apply debuffs that affects Tiny's normal attack. So if you have neutral items like Groove Bow, you can throw the tree at the enemy from the fog and reduce the magic resistance by 15% before executing your combo. If you have items like Mindbreaker, you can always throw the tree from the fog and silence your target. Thank you for staying to the end of the video. Shout out to all my sugar daddies for buying me lunch. If you want to sponsor my next video, you can click on the join button below. If you enjoyed my video, you can click on the join button below.